This is the last video for this section. It's actually a pretty straightforward section. There's not a lot in it. So this one says the safe load L, capital L, of a wooden beam supported at both ends varies jointly with the width, W, and the square of the depth, D, and inversely as the length, little l. A four inch by six inch beam, 12 feet long, supports a load of 4,800 pounds safely. What is the safe load of a beam that is six inches by 12, by 10 inches by 15 feet? Okay, so it looks like a lot, but you just have to write down the information little by little. With these problems, the first sentence always tells you the equation, right? So the safe load L of a wood beam supported both lengths varies jointly. So just read the words you need. L varies jointly with W and D squared and inversely with little l. So L is, don't forget the K. K times jointly with width times K, time, I'm sorry, K times W. And it varies jointly with the width and the square of the depth. So K, L equals KWD squared. And then inversely, that's the thing you're dividing by. Length, little l. So I just wrote that down. The first set of information is to solve for k. And they give you everything except for k. All right, so it's going to be 4, well, 4,800 equals k. And the w, the width goes there. And the depth goes there. And then the length goes down there. And it doesn't matter that these are in inches and these, this is in feet because that's taken care of by K. K is going to actually have the units that make this turn into pounds. So it's going to have what? Pounds divided by inches cubed times feet. So pound feet per inches cubed. And just, you don't have to worry about that. It's just K would be different if you converted everything to feet, but then you would have convert all these to feet and it'll still work out exactly the same. Or you can keep these with th this way, which is the smart way to do it. As long as these units for this second set of data are the same, it's fine, okay? So anyway, you multiply that out and everything Solve for K, you get K is 400. Now, take the original equation. Write it out with all the variables, which is everything other than K. K is a constant, everything else is a variable. Write out with all the variables, but with K replaced with 400. And write it right there. Okay? Then they're gonna give us some data. Now, sometimes they give you more than one set of data. Like they say, what's the length, what's the load for a six by 10 by 15? What's the load for three times one, wait, three by five by 10? You know, they could ask you several different ones and each time you would go back to this equation because this is a constant Right, so if you change these numbers now, this stays the same, 400. So I just put in my new info, it's that simple. Multiply it out, use a calculator, 16,000 pounds. And then look for reasonableness. Let's see. Well, as far as how, how wide, right and the depth and the width this one's bigger than this one right quite a bit bigger 
So you expect it to be more than 4,800. At the same time, it didn't come out like 10 billion or something. So it looks somewhat reasonable. Let's look a little more in depth, let's see. Yeah, both of these numbers are bigger. So it's definitely, now this is longer, which is gonna make the load somewhat less. But I think this 10 inches depth or is gonna, this way, is gonna make a bigger difference than anything else here. That's the D squared. So 36 is six squared and 100 is 10 squared. See, so quite a bit bigger. Okay, so that's it. That just, um, you need to do some of these. I would suggest just start with uh, directly, just the very simple ones. Skip through the practice doing uh, one that just says directly. Then do some that say directly with two different things or jointly, same thing. Then do some that just say inversely, right? Do those till you got those down and then do the ones that combine everything until you get those down. And you might even use, for the very first one, just use the example I did. Try to do it on your own. When you get stuck, just look at mine. Understand what mistake and thinking you made, right? And write it exactly like this exactly like this one column two columns and then and then hopefully you'll be able to remember how to do these correctly and this will be a breeze for you